For more information on today's program, contact Erica Taylor Montgomery at threegirlsmedia.com. Now, back to Punch, media and marketing made easy on the Bay Area's business leader, AM 1220 KDOW. Good morning and welcome back to Punch Media and Marketing Made Easy, where we help you deliver that total knockout with your PR, marketing, social media, and so much more. This morning, we're talking about maximizing your marketing dollars with Carrie Tracy, who's the CEO and co-founder of the Working Media Group. Uh, Carrie, let's talk about tracking an advertising campaign. What's the best way for small and medium-sized businesses to go about doing that? Well, at the end of the day, when we first started our business, about 70% of our clients were direct response um, versus branders. The difference is that a branding client like a Ralph Lauren, you know, they're selling their product through retail stores. So it's a little more difficult to track because you lose a little control of the sale, whereas a direct response like a, like a ShamWow, you know exactly what you're getting for your advertising dollars. So when we were talking about earlier allocating your media, we'll set up, if it's a direct response advertiser, we'll either have different 800 numbers, different landing pages. We'll see what's converting, what's not converting. When it comes to branders, we'll test and control certain media in different markets to see if there's a list in the retail stores. So at the end of the day, with all business owners, it's all about sales and you know how you're going to tie it in and what's the ROI on marketing. But there are definitely ways that you can track to see not only what media is working, but the quality of folks that are coming in either to the store or to your website, and are they, in fact, converting. And I guess that, you know, really, ultimately, that's the name of the game is getting those conversions. Right, exactly. Yeah. So, um, Carrie, what kind of metrics are important when it comes to advertising campaigns? Well, you want, you know, when it comes to, um, you know, direct response, you, know, you want to know how, how much am I willing uh, to pay for that customer. Um, and a lot of that is based on what the lifetime value of a customer is. So if, you know, the big guys like P&G Unilever, uh, the bottom line is that when people pick their brand early in life, they'll tend to stick to that brand for the rest of their lives. So the value, the lifetime value of that customer is a lot. There are other clients out there that's kind of a one-off. You're going to buy that product once. You're probably not going to buy it again. So, you know, your acquisition cost may be a little lower. And then it's also the size of the purchase. You know, people are a heck of a lot more willing to pay for a college student or a car, uh, uh, you know, a luxury car than, you know, kind of consumer packaged goods. So it really depends on a variety of factors then, uh, again, depending on your goal and uh, what it is you're selling and, and the uh, the return for your uh, purchase. Yes. I mean, it, it's really difficult to give one formula. There, there's a lot of moving parts, and, you know, it's really ultimately the business model and the type of category, as you said, that, that they're in. Sure. Uh, we're talking to Carrie Tracy about maximizing your marketing dollars. And if you have questions about this topic, you can call us live this morning at 800-516-1220. That's 800-516-1220. You can also email us at punchmarketingradio at gmail.com. That's punchmarketingradio at gmail.com. So, um, Carrie, you know, the media landscape has changed dramatically in the last five to 10 years. Now, uh, cable TV is the rage and there's 50 million channels out there, plus the online marketplace has just exploded. Uh, You know, online ads didn't even exist, uh, you know, 15 years ago, and now you have uh, pay-per-click and cost per impressions, and you can do banner ads and and all of these other things online. Um, You know, radio ads and print ads and TV ads used to be the name of the game and the only choices out there for a business that really wanted to advertise. Um, How has the the changing media landscape really uh, impacting the marketplace for small and medium-sized businesses? I I think it's huge. We're going to see more changes in the next three to five years than we have in the last 50 years. I mean, back in the day, as you mentioned, you know, in the 50s and 60s, you could... Uh, depend on TV, everybody would come to the living room and watch the show. And the example I always use with my clients is I've got three teenage kids, and a couple months ago my wife and I were watching TV the old-fashioned way, and they were too, but they were watching it on their laptops with their headphones. So it is, for the younger audience, it's going to change drastically. But at the end of the day, with our clients, we look at, again, what their goal, their target, their budget is, TV, I think it was about $180, million, $180 billion spent measuring media. 60% of that is still TV. So, you know, it's, it's, it's changing rapidly, 
but it's not going away. I mean, if you really want to tell your message um, to, to the masses, you know, it's, it's difficult to avoid TV. Uh, that being said, you know, digital is becoming stronger and stronger, and, you know, the ability to really track someone um, and retarget them is, is just amazing. So let's talk about uh, changes that are coming up in the short term and then maybe in a little bit longer term. You said that you're expecting to see a lot more changes in the advertising marketplace in the next three to five years. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. Well, mobile, um, you know, without a doubt, is uh, is is going to be rapidly changing the landscape. TV is just taking on a new form with the younger audiences instead of, you know, the traditional way. They're going to be watching it online. Um, and, uh, you know, out of home is taking on a, a whole new um, look and feel, too, because you have the ability to really track, uh, you know, your, and engage your customers a lot more. But I think the biggest shift that you'll see ultimately will be in TV and mobile in the next, you know, three to six years, we'll say. What kind of changes do you see coming up in the television market? Well, the, the, the challenge with TV is that, um, uh, you know, people are just going to be watching it through uh, digital means, and they're going to be watching it on their time. Uh, it's, gonna, it's, it's already become so much more fragmented, but... The shows that will um, that are making an impact on the masses are the live shows, and all the other shows you can either record it, you can watch it on your own time, and it's it's going to be a, a lot more difficult to um, you know Nielsen or, you know Neil ratings are just going to have to take it to the next level, and or there are going to be other folks coming in um, you know looking at the metrics. Um, how big of an impact has something like DVRs had on advertising? Because now people can record uh, anything on TV and fast forward right through those commercials that are that people are paying, you know, in some cases millions of dollars for. Yeah, it's it's definitely a huge challenge, um, not only for the the networks but for advertising uh, agencies like ourselves to see, um, you know, how how many folks are really watching the ads. Um, and I think they will be coming up, and they are in, in the works to uh, almost force people to watch because someone's going to have to pay for it. As you said, there's billions of dollars being spent, and ultimately someone's going to have to pay for it, um, either through a subscription basis um, or through the, you know, the old free model. Uh, but, yes, they are clearly uh, challenged with that um, you know, change in technology. So let's talk about print advertising for a minute. Uh, you know, it used to be that advertising in print media, newspapers, magazines, was highly effective and really a great option for a lot of businesses. But now uh, the newspapers have been decimated and so many more people are getting their news online from online websites instead of actually picking up a hard copy paper every morning like they used to do. And so what kind of impact have you seen in the print marketplace when it comes to advertising? Well, for the younger audiences, you know, it's, it's huge. Um, you, you're not seeing a lot of, you know, young folks, you know, picking up hard copies of papers, whereas the uh, boomers and the more mature audience, you know, print and specifically newspaper is still a good way to go, and it still works very well. Um, what we've seen in, you know, the glossy magazines, um, you know, fashion um, is still, and luxury magazines are still pretty strong and effective. Um, but when it comes to, um, and there's lots of them, so, you know, the quality of the editorial ha has been raised um, through, you know, kind of survival of the fittest. But I think for, again, print is, is being affected. I think it will always be there. It won't have the impact that it has in the past, but I think for certain segments and audiences, it's still important. Terrific. Uh, we've been talking to Carrie Tracy, the CEO and co-founder of Working Media Group, about maximizing your marketing dollars. Carrie, we're just about out of time, but I do want to make sure that our listeners know how to reach you. What's the best way to get in contact with you and Working Media Group? You could go to our site at workingmediagroup.com, or you're more than welcome to email me directly. It's Carrie, K-E-R-R-Y dot Tracy, T-R-A-C-Y, at workingmediagroup.com. Terrific. So www.workingmediagroup.com to get in touch with Carrie Tracy. Carrie, thank you so much for being on the show today. Thank you, Erica. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. All right, coming up next on Punch Media and Marketing Made Easy, we're going to be talking about marketing your business online. 
Where can we get you help when it comes to delivering that knockout with your PR, marketing, social media, and more? We can do it right here on Punch on 1220 AM KDOW.